Hi there, this is Misha Collins. Sorry, I'm just figuring out how to use this camera. I am in my uh, apartment up in Vancouver getting ready for uh, a shooting day uh, on Supernatural. Um, as you may or may not know, we had a little contest and uh, Warner Brothers has given us uh, a camera to shoot it. We had this contest that we did online. One of the many things that we do to engage our fans and and Gina won the contest, and the prize, of course, is to get to come here uh, and shoot behind the scenes a day in the life of Supernatural. Uh, Top of the morning, okay. and you must be Gina. Hi, Misha. <laughs> um, that's pretty cute. Um, so this is gonna be your camera for the day, and... Uh, uh, well, you know, the fans are really uh, what drive us. Uh, we have tremendous respect for, uh, for the fans. Um, this contest um, of having a fan come and um, spend a day on the set, I think, is uh, terrific. Onward, sir. Okay. Um, you know, there's a lot of people here with a lot of talent, a lot of experience, and I think it's really exciting to be able to get to share that with somebody and show them how we really do things, you know. And I'm very honored that I uh, have, have been selected to actually take Gina around and, uh, and show her the ropes, as it were. This is a call sheet, um, and basically this shows us all of the scenes that we're going to be shooting today. I have a stunt today. Uh, you knew uh, your own stunt? M most of them, most of them. Um, they won't let me be caught on fire, that's one thing. And it says, uh, this is a note, production memo. Uh, it's going to be a closed set this is for, for Jared, because uh, it seemed one of the scenes we're doing today is a very emotional scene for him. That's the boys' trailers there. Have a good one. This is where I get. I'll have my uh, clothes for the show, the wardrobe. Why are you Uh, your room. Uh, well, I, there's nothing I can do with that right now, so it's okay. Um, I'll catch you back here for now. This show, you know, it seems like there's a, there's a lot of resources here, and, and we do have a lot of resources. There are times when we come right up against that line where there just isn't any more wiggle room. It's a little crowded. Uh, it's not, this is not so good to see. And I get that, you know, there simply physically wasn't an extra space. Um, and so I took what was available. Hey, yeah. Cap. Also, it's, it's misspelled my name. Do I care uh, that I'm, you know, in 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 a space that's maybe you know maybe one tenth or one sixteenth the size of what Jared and Jensen have? Does it seem arbitrary or unfair? Is there a barometer like who has the bigger trailer is more successful? Well, maybe it's not that that really matters. Actually, maybe it's something else. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's something else. <gasps> Holy crap! I can't believe he's doing yoga. What the heck is up with the mat? Uh, now Gina, like most of the fans, were really excited to meet Jared and Jensen. Yeah, and me. I don't think any fan in their right mind expects that we'd be able to give up Jared and Jensen for any moment of their precious time. So in that case, you gotta sort of like drop down to the B, C, D, E team, the Expendables as we call them, and knock, knock, knock. Misha's not doing anything. Anyway. Have your tour. Hey, Gene, I'm, uh, I'm uh, going to the wardrobe trailer if you want to come and see what we, all the clothes and stuff. Come on. This is the uh, wardrobe trailer. They keep all the costumes for all of the characters that's working on this particular episode. Wardrobe lady. This is a little wrinkly, so if you can just. Uh, these are, uh, these are my my old trenches. The old tr trenches. This is uh, this one's my favorite. Um, this is the best one for, we're doing like wide master shots. This one you can see there's a little bit of a, a shine on the lapel that Cal put on. So we use this one's for, this one's for close-ups. This is the one that I, I, I don't like uh, wearing this one because it just, it, it puffs out around the center. They are all the same. 
They're not the same. They're definitely not the same. Ken? This is where they make us look pretty. Hey, uh, Jensen. Yeah, you know the fan that won the contest? She's, uh, she's here. Wonderful. I think that's so great. Let me know when she's here. I'm looking forward to meeting her. No, no, she, she is here, here in the, in the trailer here. Okay. Hi. Oh, hey, hi. Hi. <clears throat> How you doing? This, this is, uh, it's a, uh, we're doing prosthetics today, so it's, a, it's like a barrier cream thing that I have to put on. Um, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Have you seen the car? Jeannie, what are we listening to? What is this, the soundscapes of the Pacific Northwest? <laughs> we can put some rock and roll on, please. Jensen, I don't understand. this is your playlist on your iPod. Okay, all right, very funny. Anyway, it's a good gang of people. We have a good time. Uh, Jared's on his way. So we'll just finish this. Okay. Um, so, uh, Gina, this is the um, hair end of the trailer. That's the makeup end of the trailer where Jensen was getting his stuff. This is Jeannie. Uh, and she's basically just taking off my uh, bed head um, and getting me sort of cast ready. Um, <coughs> hey. Oh, hi, Jared. Do you want your uh, street makeup taken off? No, first, I, I do hair first. Take the hammer. Oh, uh, make it yeah. uh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to give you. Yep. I'll come back. No, you're, you're good. You look great. Where to focus? Great. Hey, who, who's that? I... Well, we got a little, we kind of got rushed oh, out. Oh, we almost of, done. I got a, okay, go ahead. A couple mm. more. We got rushed out of makeup by your bodyguard, Cliff. Oh, so, he would have done that on his own. I wouldn't have had anything to really do with that. There's nothing that I wouldn't have wanted you guys to see. Yeah. He makes his own decisions. He's a sovereign entity. Can you I'll talk with him about it. I'll, I'll write down talk with him about it. Okay, I'll write it down. What about uh, Misha Collins? How would Who? you describe Misha, the guy that plays Castiel? How would you describe your working relationship with him? Oh, well, we're, we, you know, we treat him like one of the guys. We'll call him by his first name. Let him kind of watch us read lines. And, you know, I think it means a lot to him and to his development. And I just feel like it's important that everybody pretends that they're just really friendly with them, you know? I will say that I think some, you know, they, they, it was it was so heavy with, with testosterone and machismo. You know, Jared's from Texas as well. I mean, he and I aren't the same, but we're, you know, but it's, it's just a lot of manliness going. I think they needed somebody to kind of even it out, you know, kind of bring a lighter fare to the situation. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's Misha's, uh, you know. Um, I don't care, this is just an opportunity that I can't pass up. I mean, if just that even to be in the same room on the same set as Guillermo del Toro is an amazing opportunity and I don't frankly care if it's a speaking role or um yeah tell you what it's my agent uh tell you what why don't you have Guillermo uh first of all tell him thank you uh and, and have him send the script and I'll take a look at it and if it looks like something um that I'm right for uh or that's right for me then uh then maybe we can, you know, schedule permitting, of course, uh, see about making that work. Okay, then. I guess Guillermo's just uh, a pretty big uh, fan of mine. I didn't speak with him personally, but I would say, Guillermo, uh, you know, would love to do this. Um, b very busy up on the Supernatural set, so uh, we'll try to work it in. That's basically what I'd say. Back to Misha. He, he kept going on and on about... Uh a film role with Guillermo del Toro that he's up for? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was actually a film role necessarily. I think it might have been an internship. This right here is our gym trailer. Um, we got all kinds of weights and stuff in here. Nine, give him a little space. Nice, nice set, dude. Nice. Beauty. Who's on the Jeremy. Perfect. Jeremy, buddy, just the guy I want to talk to. Yeah, thanks for holding. Um, I've only done five or six sets, so I really wanted to get physically prepared so I could uh, just be ready for the emotional scene, you know? Really well written scene. I mean, I'm going to improv most of it just because I feel like I, I know Sam a little bit better than the writers do. Not just you, but all, you know, I mean, it's.
you know, we don't we don't like to say Jeremy lets us do this or he he asks a lot of times if I just let it take over, you know, Sam and especially when it's emotional because um, that's my specialty. That's what the audience feels is my specialty. So Jeremy knows that when Sam takes over, some of the lines are going to go out the window. Hey, I'm going to put you down for one second, okay? <clears throat> You know, when we watch the show, it's hard to tell if we're seeing Jared Padalecki playing Sam Winchester or Sam Winchester playing Sam Winchester. I get that. You know what? I think it's probably easiest for me to just, instead of try to tell you, because I'd, I'd have to use words. And I mean, I can, I can show you if you have. Yeah, I'd love to see that. A few minutes. Okay. Just give me a second. <clears throat> It's just like watching the show. You're welcome. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, not a lot of people get to see that. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I do agree, it's my specialty. I'm really excited about this. It's been a long time since I cried so much. Obviously, you're acting. You know, I don't, I don't cry in real life, but uh, anyways. Hey, um, you know what? I made some script notes in my trailer, so. I mean, yeah, Jared had kept me on hold that day, but. It's not something that happens too often. Is, I mean, every three days or so, I'm on hold for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. But, you know, I get other things done, you know, in that time. And, 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 and frankly, it just it comes with the territory, you know. Uh, you sign on for a job like this, you're going to sign on to deal with some real big, 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 enormously fat s***s. And you just try and roll with it as much as possible. But I just feel like the more I, I work out... And just eat, you know, protein, get sleep. I now with the kids, I really got to make sure Jen and the babies stay out of my way, so I can sleep, so my body can properly right. repair itself, so I can play Sam properly and feel Sam properly, and the audience all sees it. I mean, you know, you know, right. that's not an accident. So anyway, Gina, we have uh, all of this uh, equipment. You can see the exercise bike, treadmill, um, and. It's great, uh, great to have this just because we can come in here, you know, do a few reps before a big scene, get the blood flowing. It's uh, something, you know, we're all, we're all pretty fit, um, and I guess that's part of the job. Um, but it also helps you, I think, get emotionally, in, you know, in the right headspace for, for big scenes. So anyway, go! You okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Speaking of the gym, we caught up with Jared as he was finishing up his 100th rep of 250. I was wondering, are you a gym man or do you just stick to the easy workouts like Tai Chi? Well, I, I, I was in there uh, when he, and then I, I was just, I got a you know, really quick. Hey. Hey. Uh, my trailer's still locked and I have to get in. Uh, I got to. I gotta get Jason his coconut water. Uh, I'll, I'll get on in a sec. Misha. Sorry, yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, it's right. Can you wait for me? Yeah. I haven't seen Misha anywhere, have you? Went that way. You go that way? Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's Jared. Oh my goodness. Oh god. This is so exciting. Can you discuss your uh, preparation process as an actor? I, I think I bring a lot of just gravitas of a, a guy who's been through so much. You know, I grew up. I didn't grow up with super wealthy parents. I kind of grew up tough life. You know, my parents are still married and they were both college educated. And, you know, we had a house and I had my own room and stuff. And, you know, obviously I had a car to get to school. But other than that, it just feels like the way I grew up with hard knocks in the barrio, some people say, I feel like you can sense it. There's a lot of wisdom in these eyes. I mean, I didn't pause it there on purpose, but you can kind of see it's, it's, it's sadness, it's strength. It's vulnerability. Hey. Hey. 
Big emotional scene, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it so hard. I got a trick for this, a method that really helps with these emotional scenes. My dad, you know my dad? W. Morgan Shepherd, noted Shakespearean actor, you know? Yeah, yes? Yeah. Well, he used to beat me with the leather strap while I recited passages from the Scots play. Like that? Yes. The Scots play. So anytime I hear any of the words from that play, I just, I cry. Wow, that's, uh, that's really interesting. I think the scene is Jensen. Are you in this episode? Did you connect? Yeah, thanks for the uh, help, but I think I'm gonna work on this first. Guys, 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 no, 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 my stuff, my stuff, get my stuff, I want my, I want my stuff. Hey, Mark, oh, Mark, I'll grab your stuff. Hey, dude, I'm a person, I'm so excited. Don't, you call me sir, I don't feel like Sam. Hey, we'll, we'll, call we'll, me Sam. Yes, Sam, we'll have Don't talk, we're rehearsing. Yes, sir. American. Now, as an actor, are you at all intimidated to work with Jared? No. No, no, no. He's a teddy bear. He's a big, big, floppy-eared, dopey teddy bear. He's not going to see any of this, is he? I wouldn't necessarily call Jensen difficult as much as I would call him fragile. There's been more than one time I've gone to his trailer, expected to be greeted by a shoe flung at me or a bottle of whiskey flung at me, but more often than not, I'm just met by him in a bathrobe and a mud mask. So it's just a tricky sort of deal dealing with Jensen, uh, who's uh, not exactly the dean we've come to know and love. Ah, uh, thank you. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. So let me tell you about this real quick. So this is an algae, it's a live algae. What this is gonna do is this is gonna start to, to kill all the bad stuff that's inside you. Yeah, yeah, he's sensitive, a little sensitive on the inside, yes, yes. He, he spends a lot of time doing Tai Chi and he likes a, a vegan diet and, and he reads probably more poetry than the fans would expect. It's key element to really rinsing everything out, getting your chi, getting, I know people talk about it, but it's, it's true, I can't implore you. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, we've got a few questions for you. Yeah. So, uh, hey, hey, hang on. Yeah. I just like to kick back sometimes on my trailer, but go ahead, yeah, whenever you're ready. Well, tell us, who is Jensen Ackles, really? Uh, well, you know, born and, born and raised in Texas and uh, proud of it. Moved out to, to California to teach those Californians a thing or two about being a man. Somehow I ended up on a TV show. I'm not quite sure how, but uh, I don't know. They said I get to play with guns and do cool things and save women and drive a cool car and listen to rock music. And I'm like, well, that's pretty much me anyway, so let's do this. So this right here is the Green Machine food truck. This is the catering tent where we all come and have uh, lunch. It's, uh, we call it lunch even though it's Gina? Uh, Gina, uh, Jensen's busy right now. What do we got for me? You're gonna be happy. Yeah? No. Can you make a lot of tofu with Chinese vegetables for me? All right, put me up there. A little bit, you want more vegetables because you don't have a lot of the flavor. No, uh, what, what is this? That is the, uh, peanut butter tofu? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Where's the, uh, where's the steak? I'll go make the steak. You can hang on to that. I'm going to find some steak. Um, Richard! You're Richard's Pete! You're the drinkster! 
Uh, I'm Gina. I'm a super fan that won a contest. But you're Richard. Yeah. More of me. I mean, you're totally Richard's fan. You listen to me. You listen to me. You listen to me. And Gina was telling me too at lunch that uh, the trickster was serving you guys food. That's right. Yep. Why, why was that? Uh, we, I think, uh, are we supposed to talk about that? Is that something? I think we're going to probably cut that part out of the, out of the video. It's just for his family. He doesn't want to know about. Yeah, we, we won't, we'll, I, I think we won't talk about that part. Well, I feel like I've seen all there is at this point. It's getting pretty late. Well, oh, hey, sorry to bother you guys. I was just wondering, have you guys seen Misha at all? No, not seen him. Misha who? Yeah. Okay, stage three. Oh, I see a trench coat, so that must be him. Misha, uh, I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, I feel hey. like you ditched me. Uh, this is our stunt guy. He's coordinator, stunt start, coordinator. Co stunt coordinator, sorry, coordinator. L Lou. Uh, Hi, Lou. Hi, Gina. Uh, anyway, what you wanna? Yeah, the uh, the stunt man's going to slide the car around the corner and then come straight into the stage here. He's going to hit a bit of a jump here, hit the floor, slide sideways into this position. That'll be the final position right there. With like this here. piece, it probably makes sense just to not not use a stunt guy. Yeah, I'm not in sure if that's a great idea because if he ever pops that, you pop that tank, this yeah. whole place is going to go up. M Misha was going to do his own. Stunt, you know, I, I, I'm not sure who approved uh, him doing his own stunt. The idea that myself or Bob gave Misha any sort of permission to the, do this stunt is, on the face of it, sort of ridiculous. Uh, I wouldn't trust Misha to fall over a table. He's not particularly athletic, you know, and in my experience, uh, he's a bit of a wuss. So can I, can I stay and film it? No, absolutely not. So how come I didn't know about this? This, this cast and crew just couldn't be closer. I've never worked with a, a cast and crew that has this kind of relationship. And action. We spend a lot of time together. The cast, the crew, everybody uh, hangs out. Um, you know, for instance, just a couple months ago, I was walking down Granville Street in downtown Vancouver, and I saw um, our... Uh, our uh, he's, the, he's the camera guy. We didn't have time to actually, you know, go somewhere for coffee or something. But uh, it's that kind of relationship that we have uh, with the crew that's really great. Uh, this is uh, this is all prosthetic makeup, so it's all fake. Uh, it took some time to get this on. Oh, this is Jose with okay. fan mail. Uh, this is uh, is this all for me or is no? That's for Senor Paralaki. Oh, oh, Jared's on set. Looks like I uh, got something from sure. I. Uh, I have to uh, make a quick phone call. Hey, 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 no talking to the actor. No talking to the actor. I'll take that. We got uh, Ordnance. Russian. Uh, I can't read Russian. Usual? Yeah. Duh. Were you kicked out of the stage? Well, the I'm in I'm in prep mode, and this is a sensitive sensitive scene because we're, they're using the Impala. Some some directors are fine with me being on the set while they're shooting, but I'm in prep mode, which it's like, okay, guy, you can't be there. I understand. I get it. Oh my God. Not every day goes uh, according to plan. Sometimes there's things that come up. Yeah, come in. <clears throat> oh, this is uh, 
our executive producer, Jim Michaels. Hi. Hi, uh, hey, Jim. How are you? How are you? Mr. Krishnik, how are you? Yeah, good. I got a little something for you. Misha's. Thank you. And when your password says Misha, I'll call you Misha. Is this uh, fan mail? Yeah, it's fan mail from the accounting department. I think you're going to like it. $25,000. Yeah. And uh, no personal checks this time. Either cash or cashier's check made out Supernatural Films. Be great. Give you a day or so. Yep. Okay. Uh, Jeannie, what are we listening to? What is the soundscapes of the Pacific Northwest? We get some rock and roll in here. It's your playlist. It's, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Big kidders on this show. A lot of pranksters. A lot of pranksters. <laughs> this is the weirdest shit we've ever done. <laughs> What's the first thing that happens? Do you get the, the hair glued on first? Look what you did! I already answered. You see what you just broke? Turn I that didn't off. Break that. You broke that. Turn that off. I wouldn't be surprised if that mother Jared had something to do with it. Excuse me. <laughs> That's awesome. Honestly, they all seem like great guys. But for now, my job is to get them from one place to another, and it's impossible. It's like herding stoned cats. It's weird being in a foreign country. That's the only. That's the only difficult part of the show. I mean, the different language and the, the different the trees are different and the cars have different license plates and they charge by the leader and i need that shirt sure, like, um i need that cowboy hat like last week oh uh yeah okay all right thanks when you look at sam you don't think he's in canada and look at him look look at do you think he's in canada why would you want to wear a cowboy hat in vancouver Here, let's let's uh, let's talk about something else. It's almost like you're running a daycare. Daycares, you can actually see progress. Is this going to be over soon? Because I yes. clearly have some work to do. It here. will be. Um, imagine if you think of the character of Dean. You'd imagine walking up to his trailer and being greeted by a bear hug, as opposed to an invitation to take a mud bath. Or a no, scratch that one. <laughs> it was like a real. Just one second, Brigie. I know I'm out of Jack Daniels. I asked you to get me a bottle. Could, could we? I okay, thank you. Yeah, it's gonna be here today, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm sorry. Hopefully, I'll be remembered for all of the good episodes that we had uh, before this, and uh, you know, I think I have to. Uh, yeah, I gotta. I hear my phone buzzing, so I'm gonna. Ha <laughs> ha